Hello everybody. Um, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the tap to focus feature that's been around with DJI drones since at least the Inspire 1 uh, Pro drone, com drone came out and I've had that since um, January of 2016. So you can see right now looking at like the cars on the interstate on to the right side that it's definitely blurry and I look to the sort of dark contrast ground in front of me and then I do a tap to focus on that and there we go so now the uh, the foreground the, the the video is in focus and you can see the cars on the interstate are much sharper but we're with a flat picture profile here and in a second I'll switch there we go to a color graded um, that's much clearer much easier to see so um, again the tap to focus is not a new feature in DJI drones I've had it since I've um, picked up the Inspire One Pro drone in January. Uh, I'm not sure why they think tap to focus is a new feature, but it is not. Okay, so um, that was the first flight, and this is the second flight, so I'll, I'll just kind of walk around. What I'd actually uh, done, or in intended to do, well, this day, today actually, uh, was uh, capture the Amtrak Zephyr train heading from Salt Lake City towards California. And there's a neat kind of horseshoe bend in the uh, in the track here uh, between Salt Lake and Wendover. And so I figured I'd go there and, and capture the train. I timed it so that I would be there to, to, to catch it. But I got my AM PM backwards, so <laughs> it didn't show. So I'll just do a little walk around the area here. And it's some pretty neat um, sort of mountains in the background and the track. I do another uh, focus here, right there. I sort of tap the focus on the track. You want something that's a kind of a, a sharp contrasty uh, object at the distance that you're looking to focus. And um, you don't generally want to go real real far out um, usually sort of mid-range is the ideal distance it depends it really depends on what you're looking to do but in most cases you want to kind of go sort of one-third of the way out roughly it's an area that uh, a lot of uh, people come out on the weekends with RVs and toy haulers and, uh, you know, they bring out their uh, ATVs and, and, and the like. So you'll see in a little bit um, uh, a guy riding down the, the road on one of the ATVs. <clears throat> they were parked up here, up on the, up, up on the hillside um, to the left And between my first flight and the second flight, they kind of left. So here's the interchange uh, where I kind of turned off of I-80 to, to come to this place. And you see the railroad tracks uh, underneath, the tra uh, underneath the road. And if you continued on I-80 to the west, sort of the direction I'm heading, or pointed to, for another 50, 60 miles, you'll come to Wendover. Uh, which is on the border of Utah and Nevada. And a little before that, you, you're at uh, the Bonneville Salt Flats. Yes, those Bonneville Salt Flats. So that's where they do uh, most of the time speed runs in the U.S. And you can see that the ATV driving down the road, and it's a dirt road there. So, like I said, it's a pretty popular spot. Um, you know, we're kind of past the the peak season for that, which is you know, obviously more more the summertime. But uh, anyway, I'm coming in for a landing here, so um, I appreciate you watching. And just remember, tap to focus is not new. Don't let anybody tell you that it is. Thank you.